As with most men, it is easier for me to give hugs than to accept them. Lest the truth be known that men are nothing more than emotional skyscrapers built with glass infrastructure, spray painted the color of steel and nicknamed strength. Strange, isn't it? What walking contradictions are we called men? Men are taught to colonize at the age of five through games like cops and robbers, cowboys and Indians. At the age of eight, we're given helmets and told to hit each other in the head with it. Bleed, but do not blink. Cut, but do not cry. Be a man, join the military, die for your country. And if death comes to you, look it in the eye and say, bring it on. I fear nothing but intimacy. When it comes to intimacy, men quiver like fault lines, crumble like cities. What walking contradictions are we called men? Men sign peace accords while abusing their wives Accept the Nobel Peace Prize while reducing health care Pledge to rid the world of terrorism While simultaneously denying government aid to any country that defends a woman's right to choose During the 1970s, the U.S. government forcibly sterilized an estimated 50% of the indigenous population of America's Midwest Telling them the process was reversible Can you say biological terrorism? And in a global war against terror, maybe testosterone is the real terrorist and if so, how many of these stars, spangled, sing and flag, the web and citizens would continue to do so if terror was not racialized, but gendered? Would the U.S. military turn its guns on itself for its sex crimes throughout Southeast Asia, Africa, and the Americas? Would MTV be firebombed for its objectification, hypersexualization of our women of color's bodies? Would we stop looking towards the Muslim world for misogyny, instead turn sides arts to Madrid, Montreal, New York, Los Angeles, and now I understand my sisters when they say every woman has a story that's been told a maximum of one soul, maybe less. And that is why you will never hear me call a woman slut, bitch, or dyke no matter what she does because I do not blame her. I blame the men who have emotionally and physically raped her. I blame these corporations who images tell her they hate her and I put my arms on her shoulder and tell her how grateful I am to God that she created her. Men take note, this is how you give love. This is how you receive hugs. Press flesh to flesh till breasts crumple like emotional origami.